So friend, if you're using iMobile application of ICICI Bank and if you want to know how to add a pay or beneficiary account in this app, then I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. So the very first thing you have to do is just simply open iMobile application in your mobile phone and complete the login process. Now it doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone, the process is going to be same. Once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now in order to add a pay or beneficiary account, you need to select send money option. On the next page, uh, you need to select add a new payee option but previously if you have added any payee account or beneficiary account uh, you can check out those details over here but in my case you can see I have not added any payee account so I'm going to select add a new payee option on the next page it will ask you to select payee bank so I want to add Indusind bank so I'm going to search for Indusind bank after selecting the bank uh, you need to enter bank account details like you need to enter the account number you have to retype the pay account number you need to enter the pay name but as soon as you enter the account number it will verify and automatically you will be able to check out the pay name over here now once everything is done you need to uh, authenticate it with otp so i have entered the uh, account number now you can see within few seconds it has verified it uh, automatically as i said you will be able to check out the pay name you can enter the nickname if you want to but uh, no need to do that because it is optional simply select authenticate with OTP. Now you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number which you have to enter over here. If you get a pop-up screen like this, you can just simply select I understand and go ahead. Now we need to enter the OTP. So we have entered the OTP and within few minutes, you can see we have successfully added pay account. Now it also shows you a note over here which says you can transfer up to 5 lakh rupees to this pay account in next 24 hours. So you have to wait if you want to do a big transaction, but everything is done. So you can simply close this. You can select back to payment option and if I go to home page and if I select send money option this time, you can see I'm still not able to uh, see the account which I have added just now. But uh, instead of searching it here, you need to select this icon and on this particular page, I can check out the new pay account which I have added. So why adding a pay account or beneficiary account is necessary? Because if you're doing frequent transaction with any account, it's better to add them as a pay or beneficiary because each and every time it will ask you to enter the details manually. But if you have added that account as a payee account, what you have to do is you just have to select the account. You have to select make payment option and by entering the amount, you can complete the transaction. So which is why adding a payee or beneficiary account will ease your work. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.